What I'm gonna be doing right now is grinding this area down some 36 grit, get it down to metal. This way we could weld our little pins here with our stud gun. Okay, you want it to glow a little. What you wanna do is make sure the wheel is open, because this is what grabs it. Open like that, push it forward is open. And we slide it in, we push, we push it closed while we're pulling, so it's locked now. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just go like this. All right? As I'm pulling, right, I wanna hit around it. That's pretty much out, okay? Our dent is out. The rest is going to be light Bondo filler. So now what I'll do is cut these pieces off, grind it again, and 80 grit around this whole area. You push them down so you can get to them. Cut any turn and it comes right off, okay? Spot, so if you see a metal spot coming through to your Bondo, you just wanna hit the spot down a little bit. But other than that, this piece is... I showed you how I used the 80 grit DA and I sanded. Now what you see here are all the low spots, all right? All these dark areas here are un is, is basically unsanded paint. You wanna make sure you have an 80 grit like this. You could fold it even into a quarter like this. All right, get your finger, all right? And go with your finger and just get inside so you know wh where, where you gotta fill. All right, so this whole section here, all we're doing is hitting all the light dents around the car. The benzoyl peroxide separates, it's like a water. So if you don't mix it, you open it up and you just go like that. W liquid's gonna come out, it's gonna shoot out. You don't wanna lose that. Right, now you don't wanna mix too much at a time because if you do too much, you put too much hardener, you're gonna waste a lot. As far as how much, how much hardener you wanna put on, okay? For every golf ball size of Bondo that you have, you wanna put about six to eight drops of hardener. Okay, so well, I got a couple of sizes of Bondo uh, balls here, so I'm just gonna kind of give it like that, all right? Because I, I do this a lot and I know what I'm doing. So we'll go about that much. If it looks too light, I can always add a little bit more. But this is what we're looking at, okay? And I wanna start with my biggest piece. Now, when applying body filler, you wanna push firmly to take all the air bubbles out, right? To reduce pinholes. If you don't push firmly enough, you're gonna get pinholes which is the little holes in your Bondo after you sand, you're gonna see little holes that you're gonna to have to refill with filler, right? Not a big deal. If you get them, you're just gonna to have to refill them a little bit, right? But you wanna push firmly and you wanna go in multiple directions. So you can see that now I'm going sideways, right? And then I'm gonna go back downwards again, okay? And feel free to bend your putty knife as well to the shape of the car. So if it's round, you can bend it a little bit with your fingers. Just watch the way I grab and apply the putty. All right, so it took us about an hour exactly to sand all the spots down, all the dented areas, mix up putty, and go over you know, the big dents. So I kind of skipped this process. All I did was get our 80 grit on our DA and flatten all the dents out. So you could see all the Bondo spots there. Those, that's where all the dents were. So now I just took off our, uh, our backing for our 3M two-way adhesive tape that we have on our little lip spoiler here. And I'm just sticking it on. And before this process, I wax and greased remover this whole back trunk. So you wanna make sure it's nice and clean, blow it off good, put some wax and grease remover on it, wipe it clean. And then what I'm doing here is just laying, sticking our lip spoiler on, okay? Um, and you can do this in two ways. You could just do it painted on a complete car, and you, but you're gonna have a, a little noticeable lip, but we are molding it in. So what I'm doing here is just putting two sheet metal screws on each side just to hold it in place. Then we're gonna epoxy the whole thing. Then I'm gonna take out those sheet metal screws and fill it up with, you could either do it with epoxy or filler. It's all up to you. So this is what it's looking like before epoxy. In the previous video, you're gonna see that we did the epoxy work. So this is the epoxy process, right? After we laid our lip spoiler and we got it on there, put two screws in it, then put the epoxy. And this was all covered in the previous video. So if you didn't see it, if you skip to this section, watch the video before this because I show you exactly 
how I did all the epoxy work on here. Now, once this is done, we're gonna use our body filler. And I had a vote with some of our members. Um, did we want to do a finger mold on the trunk lip or a complete mold? And we ended up doing a complete mold and I'll show you how that's done in the next videos here.